So we talked about dresses, we've talked about hair and makeup, but what about the flowers? And when it comes to prom, there's a lot to think about, more than just color, more than just flower type. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what to think when it comes to prom flowers. That's why we turn to flower expert Jackie Cassidy from Flowers Unlimited. Jackie, thanks so much for coming thank in. Thank you, a pleasure to be here. So first Wonderful. and foremost, you guys moved locations. Yes, we did. We're now on Main Street, 720 East Main Street, uh, across from Bounds Funeral Home. In Salisbury, in Salisbury. still, so it's not uh -huh. hard to find you guys. I was out at your shop the other day. We, yes. um, you were helping me with some roses. Right. Uh, so let's talk prom flowers. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of options. Obviously, I, I I thought there was just one. I thought it was the thing that went on the girl's wrist, and then the guy got the flower in the pocket or you know on his um, lapel. But there's a lot more options than just right. Those. Exactly, the flower has to match uh, the dress. It has to blend with the dress. It should have uh, beads on it if the dress is beaded. If the dress has pearls, we add pearls to it. Um, the young man's boutonniere picks up same flowers as what the young lady is wearing and so there's a lot so of, all there's a lot to think together. about and it you say to, to yeah. bring the dress in and they help that helps you design the flower arrangement around the dress exactly and even the necktie sometimes. oh wow really oh yeah sometimes. Sometimes. it all has to match it all has you to gotta match. look good you feel good it has to be and then perfect. that's all that matters that's okay. right so we asked some of our beautiful models to stick around because there's a couple options when it comes to the flowers for the ladies and this first one is a I'm going to hand it off. Okay. It's called a, be an arm bouquet. An arm bouquet. Okay. okay. So what, t explain to me what this is. Okay. Those are purple calla lilies with uh, dendrobium orchids and bare grass. And that's very popular now, especially with a silver dress that makes a nice um, uh, um, contrast. It looks awesome. And that's an arm bouquet that would because be an arm you bouquet. hold it, hold on, it your on your arm. Look at me. I'm uh -huh. learning. That's right. Okay. Uh, this one is a little different. And this okay. one I'm going to hand uh, to you. And that is. And those are pink calla lilies. Okay. And they are dendrobium orchids. And you're holding it as it would be like a, a bouquet. So a you hand just bouquet. hold it here. Hold it in your okay. hand. Um, last but not least, this one's beautiful. Okay. And it, I like that because it kind of incorporates different colors into the dress. And, then, you know. and silver is very, very popular. Most of the young ladies are wearing silver jewelry, so we do the glitter tool with the diamonds on it with calla lilies and coral roses, and it's great with that dress, and it's great with the coral dress also. Uh, so how long, uh, how far in advance should girls and the guys be planning these prom flowers? Is it something that has to happen, you know, a couple of weeks, or, you know, they're not going to come in the day before prom? Well, they do. They do, oh, they but do. they shouldn't. <laughs> but they do, okay. and they come in the day of, uh -huh. and that's fine, and we're there to please and make sure that we have what they want and what they need. But to make your job easier, they yes. should come in advance. Uh, several weeks ahead. Because it could take yeah, some yeah. time to put together these bouquets. It's not well, just... Well, <laughs> exactly, and if someone wants pink orchids, we need to order those, or if they want blue orchids, we need to order those, so we can have exactly what everyone wants. And it ties the whole outfit together. And the guy, I'll put this right Yes, and he can have that if the gal is right. wearing a, a wrist corsage like this. Oh, okay. yeah, that's, okay. the, that's the only thing I know is the one that okay. goes on the wrist. So then this. Lots to think about. A lot of great advice, we'll Jackie. Right and then I there. would wear that. And we look good. There we go. We're ready for prom. <laughs> that's why I got dressed up today because I knew we were having the prom show. So, you know, I gotta, we were going to have the models in with the dresses, so I had to get dressed up. <laughs> Thank you so much. The ladies look beautiful. Jackie, thanks so much Thank for you. all Pleasure. that information. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. Jimmy and Lisa, there you go. I'm, I'm an expert. What do you guys need? You need a hand bouquet? How about an arm one? <laughs> Send it back to you guys. You, th those are gorgeous. You know yeah. what the biggest problem I always had was? What? Pinning the corsage on. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, here, you do it. You don't, you don't want to <laughs> draw gonna, blood on prom night. No, that was never a good thing. <laughs> well, uh, no doubt, once prom night is here, students are going to flood social media with pictures of every magical moment, a convenient way to constantly connect with friends. But Grandma and Grandpa want to see those pictures as well and feel like they're in the loop when it comes to their loved ones' lives. Thing is, many of those who are young at heart don't have social media. So here are a few ways young men and women can connect with those who might not be so technologically savvy. Tablets, phones, laptops, kids today are plugged into technology, which leaves some grandparents feeling plugged out of their lives. But those gadgets may be the key to better communication. One study found 25% of teens communicate with their grandparents several times a week through social media. 
get them to help you set up a Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram account. Then you'll be able to see their latest pictures and posts. Another way to connect, schedule weekly online dates to play your grandchild's favorite games. Minecraft, Draw Something, Wheel of Fortune, and Words with Friends can be played from anywhere. Radio's Book Chat lets grandparents read books aloud to grandchildren while they turn pages together online. Scoot and Doodle allows you to collaborate on homework and Google Talk, FaceTime and Skype let you talk to and see your grandkids if you live far away. High Tech Ways to stay connected to your grandkids. So you're never too old to learn something. You know, I'm really new. starting to feel like my parents owe you kids and your technology. <laughs>